So here I've got a picture of an average person. They're a little more than five feet tall. And so if we were to convert that into, say, meters, the average person is a little less than about two meters tall. Now a person is the largest unit of life we consider. When we talk about the smallest unit of life, we're talking about a cell that relatively looks like that. And while a human being is about two meters tall, a cell has a diameter of about 100 micrometers, 100 micrometers, which to put into perspective relative to human being is about one one millionth the size. One one millionth the size. And yet there's so much that goes on here. Just as human beings grow and maybe will have babies, cells do the exact same thing. They grow and have babies as well, or they undergo cell division. So in the next couple of videos, we're going to talk about how a cell grows and divides. So let's zoom in on the cell right here and spend the next couple of videos talking about how a cell grows and divides. And the lifespan of a cell can be described by what's called the cell cycle. The cell cycle, which can be thought of as seasons in a year. Just like we have seasons such as the spring or the summer where things grow, versus fall and winter where they don't, the cell has times when it grows and divides, and other times when it doesn't divide. And there are two main overarching seasons, or types of seasons, that we can talk about here. There's this period here that's more like the fall or the winter, where you don't have as much cell division, but you have more growth of the cell. This period is what the cell spends most of its time in, and it's called interphase interphase, where we primarily have cell growth occur, but not cell division. Interphase is where cells spend most of the time. So most cells live here. But there is one key exception. What do you think that one exception might be? And I think I heard you correctly. If you said cancer, you're absolutely right. Cancer cells have some defect in them that cause them to want to divide more so than grow. And we'll talk more in detail about how that occurs in a minute. The other main phase of the cell cycle here is where you have active cell division. And it's called mitosis. Mitosis, or sometimes it's abbreviated with just an M. Mitosis is the time where you have active cell division. Now there are a few other phases that occur within interphase. The first part of interphase is a growth phase and it's usually abbreviated G1. As you can see here, G1 is the longest phase of the cell cycle, so most of a cell's life is spent here. And it's in this phase that we produce extra organelles, such as ribosomes, so extra organelles, and proteins. So we make proteins that'll be useful when we get to the point for cell division. From here, the cell has a choice. If it wants to continue growing and move towards the direction of cell division, it'll move forward this way to the next phase that's called the S phase. And the S phase just stands for synthesis, more specifically DNA synthesis, because here we're going to have DNA replication. And that's where we take 23 pairs of chromosomes so 23 pairs, we call them pairs because half of them are from your mom, half of them are from your dad, and we duplicate them. We replicate them and we end up with 46 pairs. And most cells go in this direction, as I mentioned over here. Some cells, however, instead of going forward from G1, they'll go in another direction here to a phase that's called G0, or G0, where you have no more division no more cell division. Because there are certain cells in the body that don't like to divide or don't tend to divide. And you can think of a quick example like neurons in the brain. Once your brain is formed, it doesn't necessarily need to divide anymore. You just have cells grow. So that means it's sort of the end point for these types of cells. They won't usually come back and enter the cell cycle in this way. But let's continue as if it had. The next step, or the next phase of the cell cycle is called G2, which is another growth phase where we are more directly preparing for mitosis. So we prepare for mitosis in a couple of ways. Perhaps a good example is we make microtubules. So I'll put micro, that symbol micro, tubules, which will be used to pull our chromatids apart. 
when it comes time for anaphase, and we'll talk about what that means in a separate video. And finally, to be complete, we have our last phase right here, which is just mitosis, which is our final season of the cell cycle, where our cell will divide. And once it's divided and turned into two cells, each of those cells will next enter the G1 phase, where they will grow and produce extra organelles and proteins that will eventually allow them to divide again. And so as you can see, just like seasons in the year, the cell cycle goes around and around as we divide cells further and further, unless it's a cell that goes off to this G0 or G0 phase where we don't need any more cell division.